In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use Kramer's rule to solve a system of equations. And we're going to go ahead and start fairly easy by looking at how to use Kramer's rule to solve a system of 2 by 2 um, equations. So let's first take a look at Kramer's rule. In Kramer's rule, this is part of the screen, not that system right there, but this part of the screen. It says Kramer's rule, the solution of a system that consists of these two equations, ax plus by equals h and cx plus dy equals k is given by the following. The variable x will equal the determinant sub x over the determinant and the variable y equals the determinant sub y over the determinant. So let's take a look at what this dx and d and dy all equal. And we will first address D. D right here, if you notice, D is this determinant here. These are the, the coefficients of our x and y variables in our equation. So if you take a look at the first equation, the coefficient of x is a and the coefficient of y is b. So we get the a and the b in our determinant in a row. And then the second line, if you take a look at the second equation, the coefficient of x and y is c and d, and you can see that it's placed right here. Okay, this is called the coefficient matrix, a, b, c, d, and we're taking the determinant of the coefficient matrix. So how does this coefficient, or this determinant, differ from the one above it? So let's take a look at the one above it and compare. Well, the second column is the same. The column that has the y coefficients is the same. So we have b and d, and it is the same as the b and d in the lower determinant. Instead of having a and c as our x coefficients like we have in the lower determinant, we replace that with the, um, the numerical value that our equation equals. So you can see this h and k here replaces our x coefficients of a and c. So um, d sub x, the determinant sub x, just means that you're replacing the coefficients of our x variable with the solutions to our equation right here, or the, the numerical value that our equations equal. And you're going to see the same thing over here on the D side here, or the Y side here, um, our determinant in our denominator is just the determinant of our coefficient matrix, A, B, C, D. And then D sub Y, the determinant sub Y, the Y column is now replaced by our H and K. So you can see the Y column, our Y coefficients have been replaced by the numerical value of our equations, which is h and k. a and c are the coefficients of our x variable, just like they are down in our lower matrix, or our lower determinant, but our b and d, the coefficients of y, have been replaced by the numerical values of our equations. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and erase this. You guys should probably put this in your notebook so that you can um, refer to it while you're doing your homework. So if you don't have it, pause the video uh, and write it down. Otherwise, I am going to crop this and get rid of it. And we are now going to take a look at the example that I wrote up here in the top right-hand corner. We're going to actually use Kramer's rule to find x and y, the values of x and y. So the very first thing I do is I, I go ahead and calculate all three of my determinants. I know I need d, I know I need d sub x, and I know I need d sub y. So let's go ahead and calculate those, um, and you can see how that's done. d is just the determinant of our coefficients. In our first equation, the coefficient of x and y are 2 and 4. In our second equation, I want you to notice our second equation is not set up correctly. We have x equals 2y minus 5. The system was set up um, to be conducive to um, substitution. So we're going to need to move our variables to one side. So I'm going to subtract that 2y. 
and set my equation equal to negative 5. So now I can fill in my coefficients of 1 and negative 2. And when I take the determinant of this 2 by 2, I get negative 4 minus 4, which is negative 8. So now let's go ahead and find dx. So as I said when we were discussing Kramer's rule, that for dx, we use the same exact determinant, except our x column is now replaced with the numerical values of my equations. So I'm going to go ahead and replace my x with the answer or the numerical value of the first equation. And in the second, I replace it with the numerical value of the second equation. My y column stays the same. Okay, so I'm only changing my x column when I calculate d sub x. So when I calculate that, I get a 12 minus a negative 20, which is addition. So I get 12 plus 20 is 32. And then for d sub y, I'm going, to I'm going to do the same thing, but now I am replacing my y column with the numerical values of my equations. And now my x value, my x column, has the coefficients of x, 2, and 1. All right, so let's calculate this determinant. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, minus 1 times negative 6 is a negative 6. Six, so it's negative 10 plus 6 is negative 4. So let's go ahead and calculate x and y. x was dx over d, which is 32 over negative 8, which is negative 4. y is dy over d, which is negative 4 over negative 8, which is 1 half. And when we write our answer, since we are solving a system of equations, we should write it as an ordered pair. So there's example number one. So now let's go ahead and try another example really quick. Now that we know what we're doing, I'm going to go ahead and erase our work here. All right. So now let's go ahead and work on a system that looks more like 2x minus 5y equals 4, and then x plus 2y equals negative 7. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our d, our dx, and our dy. D is just going to be our coefficient matrix. 2, negative 5, 1, 2. DX is going to be coefficient matrix with our x coefficients replaced by the numerical values of 4 and negative 7. Our y column stays the same. And here, our y column is changed, but our x coefficients stay the same and here we get a whoops we get a four and a negative seven so let's go ahead and calculate these determinants so we get a four minus a negative five which is nine here we get eight minus thirty five which is negative twenty seven and here we get negative 14 minus 4, which is a negative 18. When I calculate x, that's dx over d, I get a negative 27 over 9, which is negative 3. When I calculate y, that is dy over d, which is a negative 18 over 9, which is a negative 2. So I want the solution to this equation is negative 3, negative 2. So regardless of how you solve your system, whether you use substitution, elimination, graphing, matrices, or Kramer's rule, you should get the same answer. And you can check that answer by plugging it into your original equations.